including Casper Seifel TV and Association from MTK Global were in the hole. Uh, with me I've got a, a bitterly disappointed Dave Corwell. Um, just first of all... I'm disappointed yeah. for him that he didn't get to become WBC World Champion. But I'm not disappointed in him and, and what he did and how he tried his absolute heart out. We're not talking about a, a superstar prospect, Team GB kid. We're talking about Gavin McDonald, who's come up through the hard way, never been fancied, had 18 pro fights, and he's just just lost in a WBC world title fight and given his absolute all. I'm not disappointed in that. I'm just disappointed that he doesn't get to go home with his dream fulfilled. How did you sort of assess the first half of the fight? Vargas started quite fast. Yeah, he did, and he did what I expected, where he start once he started feeling it was missing and Gav was getting him missing then he'd start tightening up and start loading up and that's what he did after about two rounds two rounds two three and four and then after round four I said to Gav to write now I need to start when you're making him some really punishing to body get him to get his body and start working to slow him down because I knew that he would he would tire down the stretch um, but he was he's, he's the thing that watching him on on YouTube and things like that you can see that he is quite slippery um, and getting out. Yeah. And Gavin was struggling, stepping across to his right to, to, to clear put him off, which allowed him to, to get little breathers. But you know, it's, it's a, it, it looks brilliant. It's Gavin McDonald. He's just you know, it looks brilliant. He's jumped up levels and hung with a re you know a, a, a really good prospect, a guy that, that ever was raving. About, I think Boxing Month had him as one of the prospects to watch in 2017. You know, I think he's done, he's done a great job tonight. He's done a great job. Listen, not everybody wins the world title fight. You know, and that's that's what's happened tonight. I'm just good for the kid. I know what it meant to him. But when he when he looks at it and when he sees what he's achieved, he's going to be proud of himself, and so he should be. As the fight was obviously going into the mid to late rounds, he was he was clawing back some of the rounds and. And giving it, but you know, I said to you if he'd, if he'd um, finished or started like he'd finished, um, it may have been destroyed. But you, you see a different story to that. It's, it's all right saying, yeah, it should have gone quicker earlier, but Gavin's actually a slow starter. Yeah. And early doors, he usually takes a lot of punishment. So you're not, this is what I'm saying, you're not talking about somebody who can do this, do that, and he's elusive and, and, and fresh and can count with these great shots. You're talking about somebody who normally gets caught with good shots early doors. If you're getting caught early doors with, with Argus, he's a vicious puncher. And that's gonna stop you from putting it on him later on. And also, you know, it's just, it's easier said than done. You know, when you're in there, it's actually, oh, I should've started faster. You know, he's, he's, he, Gavin's every fight, he's the one that's, that's taller. Little things like that you have to just do. I don't know, sparring, sparring. But um, in there against somebody that can punch, you just you know you rush it a little bit when you're not when you're not warmed up when you're not not that it's warmed up it's it's, it's it's how he settles into a fight and if he'd have walked onto those solid shots when Vargas was strong and punching hard then he might not have got into the later rounds so it's all right saying yeah he should have started earlier but you know the idea was to to get Vargas expending a lot of his energy early doors and then coming on you know after four rounds not after six. You know, after four rounds, he started turning screw, and then I wanted him to go, but he couldn't. He, Vargas is, you know, he's a good fighter. He's very good on back foot, and and he used his eye and his his reach really, really well to keep Gav at bay. You know, your reaction after the fight kind of told your story. Is that how it was? I mean, it was majority draw, uh, majority decision towards Vargas. It was one referee scored it a draw, one forty, one forty. I I didn't know. I, I thought we lost it. Yeah. I thought we lost it, um, and I wasn't when it went. I'll be honest with you, when it went 114, 114, I just thought, it's, it's got to be fair, because if it's, it's performed like that, if he'd have got a decision, it took away from performance, because everybody just absolutely yeah. slayed it and said, oh, you know, wow, you, you know, you robbed him, this, 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 and nobody would be talking about how yeah, Gavin did. Got the credit Takes, win, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so now, you can't slag him off. He, mm. he can't show, he, you know, it's Gavin McDonald fight for a WZ world title. Who, who would even have dreamt that a year ago, 18 months ago? You know? And you know, you, you've got to think how far he's come in such a short space of time. And he, he, now we can give him credit for it, you know. And, and see you later. And um, 
yeah, you know, can give him credit for it. And yes, he lost, but he he, he done really well, and he learned he learned so much. I always say about prospects, you learn from from your mistakes, you learn from your defeats, and that you learn from it, and you can be proud of it. Well, you got to try and pick yourself up for next week now. It's a completely different matter. Yeah. It's a completely different matter. You know, it's this is. This is about Gavin McDonald. Today, I've not been thinking about Tony <laughs> Bellier. This is about Gavin McDonald. This is done when I walk into the gym. It's about Tony Bellier. Mm. You know, I don't train everybody all together at once. At, at once. So they're all in together all, and, and the, the banter and everything, all of a sudden the banter's gone. I train individually. It makes no difference. It might, might make a difference if stereo's not working. And there's nothing that's different to every day, but yeah. the gym session will be the same as, as any other session. And like I said, in the ring, do you genuinely? Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Thanks. Okay. Do you genuinely believe Tony Bellew will think about Gavin McDonald getting beat going into this fight? Yeah. You know, certain idiots that want to think it's a team. Is it? No, boxing's not a team game. You all want each other to win as camaraderie. But when they walk to that ring and when they're doing their own sessions, they're thinking about their own career, their own session. They're not thinking about, Gavin didn't think about Price, eh? He wasn't thinking about Price, he's getting beat. He was concentrating on his own fight. Went in, got beat. beat. He's jumping up levels. There's a, there's a big chance he was going to get beat. You know, so many of those, those people that, that like to call themselves warriors were saying that you were going to get blown out and get blasted. Well, that didn't happen, did it? Mm -hmm. You know, and it's, it's the same thing that applies with Bellew. Bellew's not going to be thinking about Gavin McDonald and thinking, oh, that means I'm going to get beat. No fighter does that. Ask any, any fighters, any fighters out there that genuinely think about that. No, they're in. You know, and, and do you think David is thinking about Carl Frampton getting beat? What's the other kid? Was, was Carl Frampton thinking about it? Did Carl Frampton lose because Conrad Cummings got beat? Do you genuinely think that? No. Every fighter is their own individual, has their own individual career, and think about themselves because it's boxing and it's a selfish sport. It has to be a selfish sport. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's it. All right, Dave. Well, listen, we'll catch up with you in Liverpool on Monday. Yeah. And, uh, Fun and games. We shall see, yeah. Fuck them all. Cheers, mate.